On my recent trip back to England, I got to visit many places, including the Land Rover Experience near Birmingham. Now, I asked David, general manager of the Land Rover Experience, to explain to me exactly what the Land Rover Experience is. Land Rover Experience is a tool to assist us in getting the best out of the product and explaining to the customer or potential customer how the car works and how they can utilise it in their lives. So when you're on the course, what do you exactly cover? We drive on any surface, assuming that it's ethical to drive on that surface, we'll have a go at driving our cars over that surface and looking at it. Now Land Rovers are famous for being off-road vehicles, but what makes them so capable? Uh, it's the level of detailed thought that goes into the design from the engineering concept stage. So when we sit down and work out what the new Discovery is going to look like, or the LR3 or the LR2, we actually sit down and say what opportunities do we have from a technology, what's new, what, have, what do we want to carry on from the existing vehicle, and that, that all goes in and that's built in right from the start and developed all the way through. Now it's all very well driving the Land Rover experience for a living, but I asked David if he gets to contribute to the actual Land Rover development. Um, we assist, historically I'm an engineer, so I've moved into a marketing function, but we assist in validating the vehicles when they come through in the various stages, and sometimes um, we assist in actually explaining what the customer is using them for, because we see the customers on a daily basis, where the engineers only see them once a month or once a year type of thing. Land Rover makes multiple models but are they capable in different ways? Um, overall most of the vehicles that Land Rover produce now have exactly the same capabilities. I mean if you look at the LR2 compared to the LR3 obviously you have a low range gearbox on the LR3 and air suspension where you don't on the LR2 and that will give you the next level of performance. But it's amazing where you can take the LR2 with the know-how, the driving skill, you'll go to most places. Because ultimately it is also lighter than the uh, LR3. So for a utilitarian type use, you would use something like the Defender. Uh, and more for the more luxurious leisure type industry, you'd use a Range Rover, or Range Rover Sport or LR3. Range Rover is the most luxurious of all Land Rover brands. Does it have a dual purpose, being luxurious and capable off-road? It, it covers any spectrum you wish it to perform within. So it's, it's equally at home uh, at the opera as it is to actually going shooting or uh, yachting or any type of um, sporting activity. So what makes Land Rover stand out from its competition? I think it's the uh, level of detail we put into the design as far as the finessing. The, it, it's not a, uh, just a design for the exterior, it's not just an interior design, it's not just the engineering background. It's the way everything integrates together, the level of detail and thought, the, the, the choice behind the materials, the, the way that the gear change is delivered, the, the way the functions work, everything. What makes the new Land Rover LR2 better than its predecessor? Time. Time and experience. Uh, obviously it's very difficult to compare model to model through their lifespan because everything improves, but a lot of uh, learning points from the uh, Freelander have been built into the uh, LR2 uh, platform and the other products that we've developed in that meantime, we've changed all of our product range since that Freelander was originally developed. So the internal package, uh, the refinement, the capability, everything has changed on the vehicle. It's all new, all new. This Land Rover Experience course that we have seen today, is it only available here in Birmingham? Our headquarters is at Eastern Castle down in Herefordshire, uh, where we uh, have a large facility with about sort of 40, 45 instructors working out of. They work both in helping Land Rover Central deliver events like press events, dealer events. Uh, we uh, help service the professional user market as far as giving them training for the products that have been sold, but also uh, customers in training customers how to get once they've bought the car, best out of their vehicle, everything down to winching, first aid, outward uh, survival techniques, but also actually in, in conquest sales, so we bring people in and actually sell them cars. We have 31 franchises around the world, um, from China to Finland to the US, um, and we've got uh, that number growing every day. And it's just really making sure that they're a tool to assist us in selling vehicles. What sort of conditions are the vehicles in once you return them from the course? It, it will always be in good shape because uh, tomorrow we have more people like yourself coming through. So, yes, the key thing here is non-damaging to both the vehicle, the environment and the people, most importantly. 
Well, that's all for Mars Around this week. Make sure to join us next Sunday at 12.30 when we'll bring you more exciting information from the world of automobiles. Bye-bye for now. Here are the guys that make miles around possible. The Russ Auto Group, Baxter Auto Parts, Northside Ford, Ray Reese Dealerships, Four Wheel Parts Performance Center, Grand Prix Imports, and Jay Lee's Auto Group. Thanks, guys.